So the cornering light helps out a lot. So as I turn the steering wheel, I hope you can see it right over here. It illuminates right where I'm turning into. So whether it be turning left or right, that cornering light helps out. Now, I, I prefer cornering lights over, say, active bending uh, left and right headlights that move around. I like auto leveling's fine. Uh, it's just the the movement left and right is a little distracting sometimes. And also, it's not as helpful. Say, a cornering light actually aims in that really sharp angle so you can actually see better. Uh, so you'll notice there's a cutoff on the low beams. So... It's all bright over here now, but as we get out on the road, you'll see a clear cutoff. Uh, and then there's a dip uh, right in this one spot where the oncoming lane is uh, that is intending to, you know, just not be as bright on the oncoming traffic eyes. So, yeah, as you see these cars go by, notice the cutoff is right below their, their windows. I don't know if you can tell that. And so that way you're not... You have good visibility on the road, but as far as like, you know, aiming up and up in their face or whatever, it's not going to do that. Now the auto leveling, as you like floor it, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but as I accelerate, the, the actual headlights will lower a little bit more than what they need to, but it's just like as a precaution. So as I accelerate, I don't know if you can notice that, that dip in that line and then it comes back up so I floor it they lower and then I let go comes back up um, so that's not really leveling it's just adjusting for the you know the position of the vehicle because as you see we're going up and down we're going up and down bumps and stuff and that's not keeping that line level so it's you know not technically auto leveling but that's what they call it So I have the automatic high beams on, and so far, so far it hasn't had a really a problem with the high beams on the automatic high beams on this vehicle. Uh, it does a decent job. Some vehicles, you know, flash other cars and stuff, and you know, I mean, it's it's almost none of them are perfect, but this one seems to be fine in most con most most conditions. All right, so this area is a little bit darker if there's not any cars anyway. And um, hopefully we'll be able to see. Yeah, okay, so we can see really good. You know, once again, Lexus does a good job. Uh, most Lexus vehicles seem to do a really good job. Uh, so with the height, this vehicle isn't high off the ground. So it does. it's doing a good job of not being patchy on the road and it has a good distance. Uh, it illuminates the side of the road good. So yeah, we're having three lights on each side Overlapping enough to where it's not patchy We do have quite a bit. Of, oh, yeah, look at that. The, the high beams are just fantastic. Really liking that uh, the low beams They're good they're good That notch that's supposed to be that dark area on oncoming traffic. It's just a little bit too low especially considering it has the auto leveling system uh, so it leaves this dark spot sometimes in the middle of the road, uh, but it's not really a big deal. I just want to point that out, and you might, might you might be able to see it. I'm not sure on camera, um, but yeah, so, I mean you can see just fine. I mean look, looking down the road right now, it's it's not an issue right this second. So yeah, it's it's it. The, the actual light going down the road is good, even in low low and high beams. Evenly lit, you know, it's not like a, you don't see like a patchwork of different lights trying to illuminate the area. Uh, so the brightness is good. Uh, the coverage is good. And yeah, I mean, other than that, that little black spot, which is, probably a good idea for safety anyway it just seems a little low uh, other than that it's good and the automatic high beams so far are working good
so yeah let me know what you think in the comments um, I think there's room for improvement on a lot of things on the vehicle but as far as the actual headlights and and really tail lights are pretty good too um, yeah I think there's a lot of a lot of positives on this vehicle as far as the lighting system having an, an approach light some kind of exterior light when you unlock the vehicle and you're walking towards it would help uh, some illumination in the, some of the compartments would help out uh, but you know that's that's not much negative to say interior lights are a little dim I mean really <laughs> you know especially with dark interior they're just you know not not very impressive not they're, they're, it's not it's not really the impressive part it's that they are not as functional as they could be and that's the whole point of a lot of, of illumination is a, it's a, it's a primarily a functional issue if it doesn't have adequate lighting uh, because at nighttime unless you're you know unless you're just like have street lights everywhere or whatever uh, if you're already in an illuminated environment if you're in a dark environment and you need light it's really I mean it's and you don't have a flashlight or something you know you some of these vehicles are just they're just gonna cause a problem you know especially in an emergency you know if you need to if you need to get something quickly out of a vehicle and you cannot see and it's dark you know uh, and you're on the side of the road somewhere and you can't see properly you're trying to look into a compartment and you got to get something out let's say you have a tourniquet in there let's say you have a knife that you need to get to cut something and it's an emergency you know uh, and you don't have you can't see you know that's a huge problem it's like covering up an exit on a you know fire exit or something on a cover blocking it, blocking it with something you know <laughs> uh, but you know it's just one of those things that just impedes your ability to do what you need to do uh, but anyways let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys next time